Good afternoon, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It's March 18th. Strong day for corn. Corn started off lower, ended up higher. Three cents higher for the May contract. Outside day up on the charts. Um, a lot of negative news around commodities today with the dollar being stronger, but corn still ending up higher today. So uh, it is an outside day up on the charts. You've got some trend line resistance right above us, 723. That's also the 200-day moving average. So that's going to be a point that we're going to watch very closely. Can we close above that here tomorrow, uh, or are we going to see some profit taking? So certainly something to watch. As far as beans, down 16 and a half today. A lot of rumors still circulating that we're going to see China canceling more tenders. And um, that's still some negative tone being thrown at the market and uh, keeping some pressure for beans yet. Wheat dropping back about 10 cents today as well. Uh, giving back some of the profits that it had seen last week. We saw a nice rally last week, uh, but uh, today not so good. So continuing to see some pressure there for wheat. As I mentioned, the dollar was higher. Dollar up 37 cents right now. Started off the day very strong uh, with this talk of uh, Cyprus uh, and the bank issues uh, that we are seeing there. Um, they had come out here during the during the mid session. Uh, and, you know, rumors and, and actually news wires hitting on the story that actually uh, the Bank of Cyprus was going to shut down uh, until Thursday. So there's also talk out there, maybe even indefinitely. The last one that I have seen is that it is shut down till Thursday. The fact is, is that it's shut down. And um, you do have guys running to the dollar for a safe haven right now. Uh, like I said, dollar up 37. But they also come into the metals. So metals also looked at as a safe haven. Gold up 11 to 12 bucks right now. Silver quietly higher, up just a few cents. But uh, crude oil, though, today was down right away this morning. As the dollar just shot higher, crude oil ended up pulling back. Um, but as of like, as I said, we're, we're 25 cents higher right now. Almost two dollars off the lows today. So that's uh, that's well supported. We'll see if we can get another rally back up near that $95 a barrel level. So uh, keep an eye on that here on rallies. Uh, as far as the cattle, cattle up 25 cents today, 126.05. Uh, we've seen some stronger wholesale beef prices today, and uh, we'll see if we can get a little support out of that. But the big thing in cattle, got to watch the cash market at this time, uh, and, and how are we going to trade this week? Cash has got to turn around before we're going to get these futures to find any kind of emotional support here trying to push us higher. But as the charts look negative, we've got to see some kind of turnaround right now. Today's uh, little bit of a bounce isn't going to cut it. We need to see some stronger closes. As far as hogs, down 60 cents today, 79.07. Uh, wholesale pork prices, though, climbing a little bit, up 53 cents. Uh, and cash hogs uh, so far here today up about 48 cents. But uh, there, too, we need to see some stronger cash sales. We may try to get to that here in the next week or so. Uh, if we do start to see that turn, uh, we may see a, a pretty decent jump yet for hogs, but the market just isn't ready uh, at this time. So um, keep in touch with us. We've got a lot of information for you. You can reach us over here at 800-262-7538 or check us out on the web at allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great day today. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Take care.